in this video i am going to discuss the idea of null versus alternating uh, hypothesis the very first step of hypothesis testing is to define null and alternative hypothesis if we do not define null and alternative hypothesis correctly then uh, the interpretation of the uh, result might be <coughs> misleading so what do we mean by null hypothesis a null hypothesis is a statement or a proposition about a population parameter that is assumed to be true let us understand the idea of null hypothesis with the help of example suppose we have this statement statement 1 is the average height of class 12 is 5.8 inches now how can we convert this statement into null hypothesis so it is possible to test this uh, statement this means that this statement can be tested significantly by collecting a data of uh, class 12 students so first if a statement can be tested then it can be converted into null hypothesis the second characteristic is retest it is also possible for some other person to retest or verify this statement after uh, some period of time with the same sample this is statement 2 william met jesus christ yesterday now it is not possible to uh, test this statement uh, significantly and also it is not possible to re verify it re test it so this two statements in this example clearly means that statement 1 can be converted into null hypothesis and statement 2 cannot be converted into null hypothesis so null hypothesis is denoted by h not or hn basically it says that there is no effect or no uh, difference so in our example null hypothesis is the average height of class 12 is not statistically significantly different from 5.8 inches in other words the average height of class 12 is uh, 5.8 inches now what is alternative hypothesis the alternative hypothesis is uh, the opposite statement of null hypothesis in other words it, it is the statement that null hypothesis is wrong it is denoted by uh, h1 or h a so this null hypothesis says that there is an effect or a difference so in our example the alternative hypothesis is the average height of class 12 is statistically significantly different from 5.8 inches we never test alternative hypothesis we always test the uh, null hypothesis and we make the decision now uh the decision depends whether we reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis so suppose we reject the null hypothesis that means that there is an effect or differences so in our example if we reject the null hypothesis this means that the average height of class 12 is statistically significantly different from 5.8 inches the second option is fail to reject which means that there is no effect or no difference in our example if we fail to reject the null hypothesis the conclusion would be the average height of class 12 is not statistically significantly different from 5.8 inches so this is how we uh, make null and alternative hypothesis we we'll do uh, practice suppose there are two statement statements the first statement is male and female consumption expenditure is different in this case the null hypothesis is the male and female consumption expenditure is not statistically significantly different from each other again
against the alternative hypothesis that there is a significant difference between male and female consumption expenditure. Uh, try to write the uh, null and alternative hypothesis for statement 2 and you can also write in the comment uh, section. So if you find this uh, video useful, kindly uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel Crack Economics.